Hi friends, hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Well, just like if we were at school, we're gonna read a story with Mr. Peter and I. And since we just started learning all about different types of balls and the activities you can use balls for and different sizes, and we'll get much more into that. But today's book and story is called Curious George at the Baseball Game. So that's one activity where you actually use a ball to play. And the author, which, what does the author do, everybody? Writes the words is Margaret and H.A. Reyes. It doesn't say who the illustrator is, but it was the, they're the illustrators too. Remember the illustrator draws the pictures. So this is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today, George and the man with the yellow hat were going to the ballpark to watch a baseball game. George couldn't wait to see what it would be like. I hope some of you have been to a baseball game. It's super fun. I have. Oh, me too. At the baseball stadium, the man with the yellow hat introduced George to his friend, the head coach of the Mudville Miners. He had arranged for George to watch the game from the dugout. What a treat. George got a Miners cap to wear. Then he sat on the bench with the players. He felt just like part of the team. So they wear uniforms, so they all have the same outfit. The players cheered a Miners home run. George cheered too. The players groaned at the Miners struck out. George groaned too. Hmm. It's okay, friends. Then George noticed one of the Miners coaches making funny motions with his hands. He touched his cap. He's pinched his nose. He dusted off his shoulder. Hmm, thought George. Maybe this was another way to cheer on the team. Hmm, not sure that's the correct assumption. What do you think, Peter? I don't know. That seems weird. Uh, let's see what happens. Hmm. So, George made some hand motions too. He tugged his ear, he rubbed his tummy, and he scratched his chin. Hmm, what do you think, friends? Just then, a Miners player got tagged out at second base. The player pointed at George. That monkey, he said, he distracted me with his funny signs. Oops. The coach had been giving directions to the base runner. George's hand signals had taken his mind off the play. Poor George. He had only been trying to be part of the team. Instead, the Miners had lost the chance to score. A little confusing for little George. George watched the rest of the game from the sta stadium seat, or at least he tried to watch the game. There was so much going on around him. There was food for sale. There were shouting fans. There was a woman holding a big camera. Very exciting. The woman pointed her camera at some fans, and look, those fans waved out from the huge screen on the ballpark scoreboard. George had never been on TV before. He was so curious. What would it be like to see himself on the big screen? Hmm. I bet you he's going to try to find out. He soon learned the answer. It was exciting. George liked seeing himself on the screen. Hey, you, shouted the camera woman. Cut that out. Uh-oh, George had gotten a little carried away. He ran off with the angry camera woman hot on his heels. Uh-oh. That's funny. That was funny. Silly George. In the busy stadium breezeway, George hid behind a popcorn cart. He waited for the camera woman to pass by. Just then, George heard a noise behind him. It was a quiet little noise, like a sigh or a sniff. What could have made that noise, George wondered. Hmm, think about that, friends. Hmm. George turned there, behind the cart, was a little boy crying. Uh-oh. George wanted to help. He crept out of his hiding place and over to the boy. That was nice of him, friends. Ah, there you are, shouted the camera woman spotting George. Then the camera woman noticed the teary-eyed boy. She seemed to forget that she was mad at George. I'm lost, the boy said. I can't find my dad. If there was only a way to let the boy's dad know where he was, but there was a way. 
the camera woman aimed her lens at the boy and hmm i wonder what's gonna happen now if she's pointing her camera at him there he was on the big screen for everyone to see including his dad <gasps> within minutes the boy and his father were together again and the man with the yellow hat had come to find george i can't thank you enough the boy's father said to the camera woman the camera woman shrugged don't thank me she said she patted george on the back it was this little fella who found your son. George was the star of the day. What a good story. So friends, again, it's just one activity that uses a ball. So we can't wait to find out all more about other activities. So we'll see you later, friends. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye, everybody. Have a good day. Bye.